Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create a full quadrant matrix chart uh, with Excel. So um, you might have seen like charts, a matrix chart like this, which is like full quadrant and each quadrant represents a certain uh, combination of quality. So um, a one very famous example is the Boston BCG chart, but then there's also many other things that we can show in a matrix format. For example, here I have an example from executive uh, compensation in human resources. So for example, in a company, I have this many executives with their different titles, and I have their salary amounts in thousands, and I also have their compare ratio, which is actually uh, their actual salary compared to the salary structure uh, midpoint, which is their relative position compared to the market or the salary structure. So what I want to show is something like this where where you actually have um well actually it will be something like this which is you have four quadrant um and you have each of those employees or like vps executives represented and you can see easily who are the people who are paid higher for salary and who are the people who are uh, who have a higher comparison, which means that competitively com paid competitive compared to the market. So this is a very useful visual um, that we can use, and I'm going to show you how to create this in a minute. So um, the basic for um, doing this uh, is actually uh, a, a scatter chart. So to do that, you select, uh, make sure you have you um, like make sure you know uh, which element you want to put in the axis axis and the y axis and then put them into this table format and then select your data and then go to your chart of a scatter chart so if you go to scatter chart this is actually what you're gonna see right away um, and uh, what you need to do now here is go to design changed chart type or you can actually go here uh, right click and change chart type so whichever way you do it is going to lead you to here and then you just need to select the next one uh next one which has only one set of chart uh one set of um dots and then you can see here that uh the axis axis is the salary and then the y is a compare ratio so now we can actually come to clean this up a little bit to make it more like this the first thing i need to do is actually uh, make sure i have the formula ready. uh sorry like i have the title ready uh to be whatever it is and then let me let me make it bigger and then what i need to do is to adjust my um uh, my access range so let's say um because of the range of our dots i want to put my access uh x axis to be between um actually a hundred to 226 because that's like a reasonable range um, and then for my compare ratio, like I'm seeing the range here and I decide to um, have my compare ratio range as 50%, um, which is 0.5 to 130%. So this is the range that I want to have, that I want to uh, define my chart. And then the next thing um, I'm going to do is to remove the grid line. So you can see here, what I need to do is actually select my grid line and then go delete. Select and then delete. So now it's a blank um, chart, but then I do want to create a border. So now you see, I only have those two border. I want this to be the same. So what I need to do is select and then go to border, solid line, and then make sure I um, select um, the gray um gray range like dark 25 percent and then make it like uh, 0.75 with and then now i have i have a border for uh the matrix so now after i have that the next thing to do is actually create this borderline so this is actually what i'm doing here so you can see i have already created this mini chart for my axis to define 
my uh, to define my lines and I'm gonna show you how to do that so to do that go to right click go to select data um, you're gonna get to this table and then go add you have a Siri name let's say X axis and then for Siri X value you need to select 1 to 260 and then for the next one select the Y value select the 90 and then let's do the same thing for the Y axis, which is, um, again, you do the same thing here, and then you select the Y range from 50 to 130, because that's where you want your border to be, and then go OK, and then now you have them. So now you can see, actually, you have those two dots, and then you have those two dots there. So what you need to do first is actually you see like my chart automatically adjust to 50 to 140 and then 100 to, to, to uh, 280, which I don't like. So actually you need to readjust your um, border to be 260 here, uh, and then your Y axis to be uh, 0 0.5 to 1.3. Yeah, so now you can see your your dots. You have those two dots. And then what you need to do now is actually select that data range and then go to Siri options. Go to line here, line, and then make sure you have a solid line to connect. So for example, in my case, I'm using black and then you're gonna have a solid line to connect and divide um, the, the area into two quadrants. And then now you wanna get rid of the dot, so just go to marker, go to marker option, none, and then you're not gonna see the dot anymore. And then you do exactly the same thing for those two dots, which is you have the solid line of black, and then you remove the marker from the marker option, and then here you go. Now you have all those dots in different quadrants, and then you can um, add data label to it. So add data label. Well, it's showing the comparison, which I actually don't want. So now you, we actually go to all, uh, label option, select them, go to label option, and then go to value from cell. You see here, um, it's gonna ask you to select data label range and then you select the title here and then go OK. Now you have both the title and the comparator. If you don't like the comparator, just remove it. Um, and then you're only gonna show the value from the cell. And then let's say if I want it to be larger font, I want the dot. Let's say I want the dot to be larger. You select the dot and then you go to, again, marker, marker option build in and then enlarge it. And then maybe I say I don't want the border, so I go to border, long line. Um, then you wouldn't see any border there. Um, and uh, you actually don't need this um, legend, so you can select it and remove it. And then uh, basically this is how you can produce a, uh, a four quadrant matrix chart. After you have created this matrix, there's a lot of information you can analyze from the chart. So for example, here, um, the, the higher uh, for the X axis, the more right you go, it means that you are paid more higher. And then for the Y axis, the comparison, the higher you go, it means that you're paid more competitively compared to the market. So we have three executives in this bucket, which means that they are paid very high and they're also paid competitively. Um, and for people in this quadrant, it means that they're paid low. However, they are still very competitive in the market. So for people in those two area, it's people who are paid less competitive compared to the market. Those two people are paid relatively low and those people are paid relatively high. So I think for, from an HR perspective, those are the people that you want to pay special attention to because they are already paid high, but then they're still paid compare, lower compared to the market. So this is a quadrant that you want to take a deeper look into to see 
why they're not paid as competitive to the market and what strategy can you uh, deploy to make them um, to stay in the company because if they are paid low compared to the market but their cost the labor cost is high there is a high risk risk that they're gonna want to go elsewhere so how do you retain them an option might be give them more incentive or give them more stocks options so things like that Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you like it. If you have any question, please leave me a comment and I will talk to you very soon.